ever wondered if you can use clips from your favorite movies in your own videos? Yes, I am. Or maybe you're creating educational content and need to show a snippet of a documentary. Okay, you're right. That's where the concept of fair use comes in, and it's a bit of a legal gray area. What? Today, we're diving deep into fair use, demystifying the four key factors courts consider. And then, I'll show you a super easy way to record movie clips using Wondershare Demo Creator. So, fair use. It's a legal doctrine that allows limited use of copyrighted material without permission from the rights holders. But limited is the key word. To determine if your use qualifies, courts weigh four crucial factors. Think of them as the four pillars of fair use. First up, purpose and character. Is your use commercial, like making a profit off of the movie clip? Or is it non-profit, educational, or transformative? Transformative means you've added something new, a new meaning, or message. Think of a movie review versus simply re-uploading the whole film. Reviews are generally considered transformative. Yeah, noticed. Second, nature of the copyrighted work. Fictional works like your favorite superhero movie get more protection than factual works like documentaries or news reports. It's generally easier to argue fair use with factual content. Third, amount used. This one's pretty straightforward. Using a small, non-substantial portion of the original work is much more likely to be considered fair use than using a large chunk, especially the heart of the work, those iconic scenes everyone remembers. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, effect on the market. Does your use harm the market value of the original work? If your use acts as a substitute for someone actually buying the original movie, it's less likely to be considered fair. So those are the four factors. Remember, it's a balancing act. No single factor is decisive. Courts weigh them all together. Now, let's say you're creating a movie review and need to use a short clip. How do you even record it? Let me show you a simple way using Wondershare Demo Creator. First, you'll You'll need Wondershare Demo Creator. I've put a link in the description below so you can download it. It's super user-friendly. Once you've installed Demo Creator, open the source of your movie in your browser. Maybe Netflix, YouTube, or wherever you're accessing it. Then, launch Demo Creator. You can adjust the recording frame to capture just the area you need. And make sure you enable system audio so you capture the movie's sound. When you're ready, hit that red record button, F10 stops the recording, and F9 pauses and resumes. Easy peasy. Once you're done recording, Demo Creator lets you edit your video directly within the software. You can trim it, add annotations, even add your own commentary. And when you're finished, you can export it directly to your computer or upload it to cloud storage. So there you have it. Fair use explained and a quick tutorial on recording movie clips with Wondershare Demo Creator. Remember, fair use is complex. Be cautious. If you're unsure, it's always best to consult with a legal professional. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who needs help understanding fair use. If you want to try out Wondershare Demo Creator for yourself, there's a link in the description below. Go check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.